Tonight, police in Queens are looking for the vandal who beheaded a statue at a Catholic church. And it's not the first time vandals have targeted the church. Eyewitness News reporter Jim Dolan has details. The statue of the Holy Family sits right outside the church of the Holy Family in Flushing, away from the street, in no one's way. You have to walk to get to it. At 5.30 Sunday morning, someone did. At the top of your screen, a man gets out of the taxi he was driving and walks toward the statue. He stops to take off his shoe, which moments later he will use as a club. Then goes in front of the statue and starts hitting the face of St. Joseph, then attacks the Blessed Mother, and then uh, attacks the face of the child Jesus. And he kept pounding until the head of the figure meant to represent the child Jesus snapped off. This was the second time vandals have attacked statues at the church. Last year, someone ripped one meant to represent an angel from its pedestal. Father Sukiel watched the video of this attack after he noticed the damage. My heart just broke. And of course, I'm asking the question, why? Why did this guy do this? Uh, certainly, the statue was not in his way. It was very deliberate for him to do this. So the big question is why? The church will hire some experts now to figure out whether the statue can be repaired or has to be replaced altogether. Either way, it will cost thousands of dollars. The promise of the Catholic Church, of course, is forgiveness. Nobody said it would be easy. We pray for the guy uh, and we want justice served, but we also we have to forgive. And we know that he could not have been in the right state of mind to do this. The church's video is not terribly clear, but police are looking at much better video from their own cameras nearby and hoping it can make out a license plate or a medallion number on the taxi the man was driving. In Flushing, Jim Dolan, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.